Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to disable the lock screen on Windows 11. If you want to go straight to the sign-in screen instead of the lock screen, you can use the local group policy editor or the registry to complete this configuration. It is important to note that if you change the registry, this can cause issues if you don't do it correctly. So it is important to create a backup of your computer before proceeding. Also, I want to make a clarification that if you want to bypass the lock and sign on screen and go directly into the desktop, you don't need to disable the lock screen. Instead, you have to remove the login password of your account. You can check the video description to find a link for this particular tutorial. Okay, let's dive into the steps to disable the lock screen on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, let's look at steps to disable this feature through the local group policy editor. This option is only available for Windows 11 Pro and higher releases, not Windows 11 Home. To start, open the start menu and look for the group policy editor and open the app. Now let's go to computer configuration and then we're going to open administrator templates. Then let's go to control panel and then let's just select the personalization folder. In here, we're going to right click the do not display the lock screen policy and we're going to choose the edit option. Then we're going to check the enable option, then click apply and click OK. And now simply close the group policy editor. And now if we lock the computer, we should see the sign in screen instead of the lock screen. And as expected, now we're going straight to the sign in screen. Now, if you want to re enable the feature, open the start menu and look for the group policy editor and open the app. Then we're going to go to computer configuration and then we're going to open administrative templates, control panel, and then we're going to select personalization. And then we're going to open the do not display the lock screen policy. And then we're going to choose the not configure option. Then click apply, click OK. And then when we lock the computer, we should now see the lock screen one more time. And there you go. Now we're going to sign in and the sign in screen. And now we're back into the desktop. Now, after you created the backup of your computer, if you're using Windows 11 Home, you can use a registry to disable the lock screen. These steps will also work on Windows 11 Pro. So open Star and look for the registry and open the app. Then you're going to need to go to this path, HKEY Local Machine Software Policies Microsoft Windows. In here, we're going to right click the Windows key and we're going to select new and we're going to choose the key option. And then we're going to name this key personalization. Then we're going to right click the key that we just created, we're going to select new and I'm going to choose the D word 32 bit value option. And then we're going to set that D word to not lock screen, all one word, and then press enter. Now we're going to right click this key and we're going to choose the modify option. And then we're going to change the value from zero to one and then just click OK. Now we can test this by locking the screen. However, because we may change this to a registry, we might need to restart the computer. But there you go, the setting applied successfully. Now we're in the sign in screen and then I'm just going to enter my pen. And now we're back into the desktop. Now, if you want to undo the changes, simply open the registry, go to the same path and simply right click the personalization key that we created that also includes the not lock screen D word. And then we're just going to delete this. Just right click and choose the delete option. And that's it. So now if we lock the screen, we should actually see the lock screen one more time. And there you go. And that's it. Those are the two different ways that you can use to disable the lock screen on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.